morning um well there are good things and bad things so the good thing is i now lie in a berth to protect my boat from uh, sweeping up too much and getting into trouble and that's exactly what happened so i will show you that first And then second, the top light of the mast doesn't work anymore. I discovered that when I traveled in here in the dark of night, whilst the fishermen were flying left and right of my boat. So I put on the other lights I have on the boat. And now I am into a next lesson, how to, <laughs> how to fix this. So what you see there is the harbor master coming next to me. And I already asked him to help me with my problems. And what he then told me is like, I will give you a hammer that will fix everything. So the hammer option of the Harbor Master was not really what I expected. So uh, I take it one step at a time. Let's see. Then I had some friendly neighbors from the boats just behind me. They, they are French and they have Danish boats as well. And I asked them if they were handy with uh, electricity and could help me with my other issue and then one of them <laughs> was trying to um, put it down with his feet and I said no 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 so I think uh, that didn't work and I'll show you what I think that will work so what I think uh, is I have to unscrew all these till the very end and then again um, make it work with new screws and Loctite or whatever that's called. So, two projects. I've got myself two projects today, hopefully today and or tomorrow. So let's start with one. So I'm measuring now the voltage here and also here because this is the place where the light is going. This is all working. Then I measured here with the, this circuit that worked as well. And measuring itself was a <clears throat> pain in the ass because I have this wonderful tool here and it this doesn't work. Then, oh, I'll put it off for a moment. Then I have this brilliant tool here didn't work either. So now I borrowed something for the second time <laughs> from two different neighbors. And um, I'll just take the final thing. Bear with me. So yesterday's project was to find repairs for my top light. Uh, so two lovely gentlemen from uh, a boat nearby, they wanted to climb in the top tonight, uh, today, which is, is blowing like 30, 45 knots. <laughs> and yesterday evening I found uh, a gentleman from La Forêt, uh, his name is Pierre, and he is going to repair the boat tomorrow and the day after. So I also asked him to do the top light so that um, the gentlemen don't need to go up in the mast with this wind. So next project, what I'm going to tell you about is like cleaning up uh, in front of the boat because in front of the boat is really, really wet. So I just put out everything I have, <laughs> but it cannot be outside because outside is also rainy a lot. So now it's a little bit dry. So I put up the boat, oh, I made up the boat open and got everything out. I'll show you. So this is what a boat looks like when you have to move everything. Um, that's, uh, everything that's wet is hanging around. And then I have left some stuff here which I will clean out. And then hopefully this will dry because the whole bed is wet. So I have these protective covers over my mattresses. And you see like on the side, it's all wet. So I don't know if it's coming through to the hatch, which we repaired with new tape, but first try to get it dried a little bit. Uh, I had the hatch open for a little bit, but now it's raining again. So we have to do it with what it is today. So 
So within two minutes of, no, that's not right. 10 minutes within arriving my boat, within, uh, two people jumped on board and started to work on it. So I'm very, very happy with that. So maybe we will have to make some drill, some bigger holes. Yeah. yeah. So with underwater epoxy. And then the other thing is, what you say is, how it's called? Um, Polymer sealant. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's a, 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 a little bit like Sika, but yeah. uh, you can use it uh, on the wet. Oh, yeah, place. on the wet, yeah. Yes. But the screws come out easy. Yes. Because a friend of mine told me that it was really difficult to get them out and they break and so. so uh. Uh, this one, I think, I've moved when, when this. Oh, yes, then that okay. makes it easier. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Channel, Jutu. Et euh, j'ai fait au euh, tour du monde avec mon bateau. Mon bateau et vous Ah oui, ah, oui, 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 <laughs> j'ai fait des courses en Hollande pour toutes les choses, mais je suis heureux que vous faites ça et je vais regarder. <laughs> Le plus dur, ça va être de remettre ça. Oui. So happy that it all got repaired. Merci Pierre. The repair of the tow rail is done. Yes. Now we need to repair the top lights, and a third project has come up, and that is the hatch, which has been leaking a lot. And before I left, I put there some foam tape on it. And apparently that is not watertight. And that was clear enough. I just asked Pierre if he was not forgetting uh, my top light uh, repair. And he smiled at me and he said, no, I'm just uh, letting my pizza go down for a bit and then I will return. So. <laughs> So Pierre was here with his uh, companion and they measured like 13 volts on the um, top light, which is here. Uh, but when they switch off the top light to anchor light, then here they measure less than 13 volts. That makes them worried. And now they are sending in a specialist. And if the specialist doesn't know how to solve this, Pierre will send the specialist up to the mast, which is really clever. And Pierre <laughs> answered like, yes, he's 15 kilos less than me. So to be continued. So you can see they're experts because within a couple of minutes, Pierre just took the guy up straight to the mast, no securing, just whoop, he was there. 
Then after a couple of checks, he took down the light and the light, like something inside the light has broken. The light was open, it corroded. And now he's taking the light to the shop and he's coming back later. Merci beaucoup, hein? Ouais, merci. <laughs> This is so wonderful. Pierre even ran after me to bring me the card for the showers. So I love Pierre and the French. So Pierre, I want to say thank you so much for everything you You're did welcome. for me. So merci, merci beaucoup. C'est un plaisir. Oui. Et merci. Et merci. <laughs> Au revoir. Bye. <laughs> I'm editing in the harbor and maybe you can hear it, but there is a lot of wind. There's another front passing by. Uh, all my projects are fixed. So tonight at 11 o'clock I will be leaving. Um, yeah, I loved everybody here helping me out. They say every day a new project and I'm afraid I have a new project. There was water leaking under the motor and I just found out that it's beneath the sink. And now the repairman asked me if it's sweet or salt water and I have to taste it again. Uh, I'll do it. So this is the place where it's leaking and also this little thread, this wire is not so good. And as a consequence of that, there is water here under the motor and under my small bilge now so now i need to taste it so um, let's do it ew it tastes salt yeah. I uh, cleaned up the bilge under the motor and I turned off the, the water taps and now see what's next. The water under the bilge and under the motor has gone. I'm gonna see if something else aft is leaking under the water line. So after leakage in the hose, now it turns out that the water lock is leaking. It's probably corroded and just went through the thinnest bit. So there needs to be a new water lock before I can move on or either I have to seal with this water lock and then uh, get out the water every couple of hours. I don't know. I have to check.
Okay. Um, Hi, yeah. Mix and uh, it get uh, it get hot with uh, air humidity or water. Okay. You yeah. need to have water for this. I have lots of water. <laughs> <laughs> it is not funny, but okay. <laughs> Sorry? I mean it's not funny but it's not <laughs> um, you can you can It's not funny you but can I can say like this, it's not it's not very easy, you need to pump but Yeah. <laughs> So you look like one of those bombers, like... Uh, Sorry? You look like one of those bombers who makes uh, gummy bombing stuff. Uh, oh, it's a... Uh, how do you call this? C4. Yeah. Um, plastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Can, I'm sorry, can you run the last time the, the engine so I can see exactly where it comes from? Yes, of course. So one step closer, they just came to the boat and took with them the um, water lock. And now they need to coupe the old water lock because it's fixed on the boat and then they after that they can start rebuilding the new water lock So I'm very happy that everything has worked out. All the projects are done. Uh, I'm now preparing for my trip. I'm a little bit anxious as well because you know, back at sea, uh, the ocean. Uh, currently it's, the wind is very strong, like 30, 35 knots. So I have to see what the currents will do. Um, yes, so. Thanks again. If you want to support me, patreon.com slash loveworks or for a one time or monthly donation, uh, paypal.me slash loveworks. And every contribution is welcome. Thank you. Bye.